So this will be the Fisher projection for D-fructose. This is going to be similar to the Fisher projection for D-glucose, uh, except that fructose uh, has the carbonyl carbon on the second carbon, and it's in the form of a ketone. And I'm going to draw in the uh, OH groups in the correct positions. And uh, just like in D-glucose, uh, when we draw here with the projection, the OH is on the right are going to be drawn uh, down and on the left going to be drawn up. Uh, I'm listing the uh, oxygen that eventually becomes part of the ring in yellow because that electron rich oxygen will be the one that attacks the electron poor carbonyl carbon. That carbonyl carbon will become the anomeric carbon uh, part of the ring, just like in glucose. So I'll draw the yellow oxygen first, which is now part of the five membered ring. And the newly formed uh, OH group, where the oxygen was formerly uh, part of the carbonyl group, uh, which you see on the left. And uh, subsequently put in the OH groups uh, up and down attached to their specific carbons, uh, the one being uh, at the top in the Fisher projection, uh, in sequence uh, according to the up-down scheme. So the OH group that's attached to the three Carbon is going to be up, and the four is going to be down. And OH that was attached to the five carbon is really neither up nor down since it's part of the ring structure now. So this is uh, here with the projection of D fructose from the Fisher. This is from another video. Uh, I'm drawing the alpha D glucose, where I have the oxygen attached to the anomeric carbon drawn down. So this is alpha, and I'm just attaching it to the fructose structure that I just drew. And they're going to share uh, that red oxygen. Uh, that oxygen, which was red in the previous picture, is uh, going to be shared with that, uh, with that glucose molecule to form a disaccharide, sucrose. And that's going to be one, two anomeric link because the oxygen, that red oxygen, that's such the one carbon in the glucose is the same oxygen that's attached to the two carbon in the fructose. So that's the, where you get your 1-2 anomeric link. And it's a non-reducing sugar since any uh, potential uh, hemiacetyl group is not there. It's actually locked away inside, inside this disaccharide structure. So there are no reducing ends. There's no hemiacetyl group on the end. So again, just to accentuate that red oxygen being derived from the uh, alpha uh, D-glucose anomer, uh, which is why it's actually down in, re in relation to the glucose, and the beta D-fructose anomer, which is why it's up in relation to the monosaccharide fructose, forming the link between the two monosaccharides to form the disaccharide sucrose. So that's why it's considered a 1-2 anomeric link because that oxygen is linked to the one carbon, the glucose, two carbon, and the fructose.